Hi Dresser Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Tuck Tuck from Raya and the Last Dragon. So let's get started. To draw this super cute roly-poly armadillo pug, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a really big circle. Then we'll come right across, uh, say about right here, nice and wide, and draw another circle. So now that I have my two circles in, let's come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights, and a curved line at the bottom, and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. Now that we have the eyes in, let's come back up here and I'm just going to spruce it up a tiny bit with these small little lashes. Just tiny little ones right here on the corner on both sides. There. Okay, so then let's come to the center between the eyes and we're going to draw the little pug nose. So right here, I'm just going to start with a curve right in the center and round it off and then bring it to the center and up and now I'll just come in here and give it a little highlight so just another oval in here and shade everything else in there Okay, so now that we have that in, let's draw the mouth. So right in the center, I'll just give myself a point, say about right here, just to make it easier. And I'm going to draw this wobbly shape. I'm going to come down and then go up with a curve. So same thing over here. Down and up. And then let's cap it off. So I've got two curves right here on the ends. Oh, <laughs> so cute, right? Okay, so then from there, let's draw the brow. So right above the eye, say about right here, I'm going to draw a curve down that goes right over the eye. Then let's come back in here and thicken it up and down. So same thing on the other side. So say about right here, right underneath the eye and right over the eye. Round it off and thicken it up. From there, let's start to draw the face. So come to where you have the eye right here and we come to the top of this eye, right where this brow is and in this area, I'm just going to go ahead and start this curve right around here, over the eye, around the eye I mean. So right here on the curve. So that's why you want your brow to be right over the eye. So then from there, about right here, I'm going to start to come out with a bunch of zigzags to draw the fur on the cheek area. So something like that, maybe four of them. And so same thing over here. And you just want to curve the same area right there. And then I'll go ahead and connect with a shallow curve right underneath the mouth. Oh my gosh. And up. There. <laughs> okay, so then from there, let's see here. Let's come really lightly and I'm just going to draw a soft curve right here. 
So like where the brow around the eye, just a little detail right there. And maybe you can add a little curve right here to make it look like it actually has more cheeks. Nice and round, just to make it extra cute. Okay, so then from there, let's bring this curve up. So we're gonna go up. And let's see, we're gonna curve around. And about right there, let's see, I'm coming over here since it's easier for my hand. Come down. And about right here, I'm gonna stop because I know there's these little antennas I have to drop. If you're using a pencil, go ahead and finish the curve first. But I'll stop about right here. And I'll pop out this little antenna to round it off and in. So same thing here. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and just connect this curve now. Right back. And then right in here where the brow is, we're going to draw another curve. Just following the top. And right back in. There, finally done with the head. So you can just kind of smooth this part out because this is where the, um, the armor is going to start, right? Okay, so then from there, let's come to the side right here, and I'm going to start to draw the first plate. So I'm gonna come out, and on this side, it's gonna be uh, narrower. So I'm gonna come out, so a slight angle. Up, and in. So I'm just kind of surrounding the tuft of fur right there, and I'll bring it up. So we just remember we wanna go nice and high. So say about right there. And I'll start on this side as well, just so I know where I'm going. So about right here. So this side is gonna be wider because we wanna see more of the, um, the plates on this side. So let's come out, so same thing, kind of angle. And let's go ahead and bring this up nice and high. And we're right there. So come down. We're gonna to start to come down and curve following this and then flare it out a tiny bit. There. So we're just creating this little oops, this shape right here. Okay. So then from there, now that we've created the first plate, um, just to make it easier, I'm just gonna come right here so it's nice and smooth, one big stroke instead of trying to draw all these different plates. Let's come over here. And just remember going nice and high and round. And go about right there. Go up. Nice and round. And let's see here, bring it down. Nice and wide. And let's come back in here. And we just want to remember we're going this way at a slight angle. So say about right here. I just want to know where I'm going. I'll bring this down more. About right here, maybe I give it a little curve and I come out. So I just want to follow this angle. Uh, but right here, I'll come in. And so I'm gonna draw, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, four of these curves. And they're just gonna get wider as I come closer to this part right here, just to make it a little bit simpler to draw. Then from there, we can start our um, individual plates. So each one is gonna come back down. So we're gonna aim for this one first. So let's come up. Nice and wide. And it's just gonna get narrow as we come out, but this one is still pretty wide. Oops, and we're gonna come down. It's so hard when you can't put your head over the drawing. And then we're just gonna curve it out just like here and bring it right back in. So then let's come, uh, let's see here, right here. Draw another one. 
So same thing. And one more. So right at the end. There. So we have our five <laughs> plates right there. And um, so like I said, if you like, you can come back in here and pop these out so it makes it look like they're actual different ridges. Okay, so then from there, let's come back up here. And there's these little bumps if you want to add. It's just another detail. And you can come right to the edge right here. Let's draw a soft curve. And so then there will be one right here. Actually, so supposed to pop it out a little bit more here. So if you're using a pencil, this is definitely much easier because you can just go ahead and race. Um, I'll just pop one out here. And then one's supposed to be like over here. Just a little indication if you want to put all those details. Okay, so it's just in a curve going back. And then from there, let's go ahead and draw the legs. So I'll start right here. We're going to put two of these right in the front. So I'll say about right here, I'll start right underneath this and kind of like right here, nice and big. So I'll come right here, curve it out, round it off, curve. And now that we're at the same level, I'm going to go ahead and draw three curves. Two and three. Then let's come in here. Just to simplify it. I'm just going to draw three curves. So same thing over here. So about right here, right under the eye and here, about right here. And same thing, gonna go out. And we just wanna make sure we're at the same level. Curve. So now we have to come down more. So one, two, and three. And once again, same thing. So curve and curve there. Okay, so one more in the back right here. So I'll tuck it in right next to this front one. One here, and let's see about right here. I'm gonna try to aim for the same width. So once again, curve. And angle out. So one. Two and three. There. And I know there's supposed to be a third, a fourth one here, but we'll just pretend we can't see it because the head's blocking because it gets too complicated. Okay. So, and if you want to add nails, you can do that like right here. If you want to add all these little details, just put little nails right here. So just like a rounded off triangle, basically. And so that's pretty much it for Tuck Tuck, the Roly Poly Armadillo Pug from Raya and the Last Dragon. And before I go, I forgot, I had a little heart right here. So now it's my draw so cute Tuck Tuck. <laughs> I really hope I made this fun and easy for you to follow along with me to draw this super cute little character. And uh, thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.